All right, what's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be learning how we can deploy our Vue 3 application or a Nux.js application to a platform called Heroku. So then at some point when building an application within Vue 3, Nux.js, or any other framework that is, you're going to want to take that application off of your local development server and push it to a service or a platform which will serve your application so that other users can see and interact with the application that you've been building. And that's exactly what Heroku allows us to do. Now Heroku is a platform as a service which will allow us to build and deploy our applications to the cloud. And within this video, we're going to cover how we can deploy a Vue 3 application and also a Nux.js application to Heroku. So let's get started. Now before we can deploy your application, there's a few things that you'll need. Now the first thing is you need to have an account with Heroku which makes sense. So if I haven't mentioned this already, Heroku is free to you so that's really cool. Now if you don't have an account, pause the video now and be sure to sign up and create your free account. Alright, now once you have an account with Heroku or if you already have one, a few other things that we need to ensure you have before continuing on here is if we go over to the next tab, we're going to be using the Heroku CLI to deploy your application. All right, so in order to use the Heroku CLI, you're going to need Git on your system, but chances are if you're watching this video, you probably already have Git installed, so don't worry about this. And if you don't, they have some guides here for installing Git on your system. Now, in addition to Git, you're also going to need the Heroku CLI itself. Now, depending on what system you're on, the documentation shows us how to install the Heroku CLI. So if you're on Mac, the preferred way is to use this command right here inside of your terminal. And if you're on Windows, you should download the installer here. All right. Now, once you have created your account, you've installed Git and you've also installed the Heroku CLI, you'll then be ready to begin deploying your application to Heroku. All right, let's begin by deploying a Vue 3 application to Heroku. So opened up inside of my browser here, I have the Vue 3 project, which we're gonna be pushing to Heroku. All right, and it's pretty simple, just a header tag here. So if we go to the other screen, I have opened inside of VS Code, which is a text editor I'm using, the Vue 3 project. So what we wanna do is open up a terminal within VS Code, and we want to run the command Heroku log in and this is going to log us in via the CLI so we can see here that we want to press any key to open up the browser to log in and we should be redirected here and I'm going to log into my account as you can see here we're now logged in so we can close this page here and you can see we're now logged in to our account here. Now next we need to create a new app on Heroku for our project here. Now we have two different ways of doing this. We can either do it via the Heroku CLI or you can go directly on the Heroku dashboard and then create a new app. Now within this video, I'm gonna opt for using the Heroku CLI as I find it a little bit easier and quicker. So what we can do here is specify Heroku. We're going to say create and we want to give our app a new name. So for this video and for this view project, we'll call this YT. View 3 Heroku. All right, and that's going to create this here. And as you can see, it's done. And we'll get a link to our Heroku app inside of our terminal here. So if we click on this, it'll take us to our new app here. And if we go over to the browser over on Heroku here on the dashboard, once we're logged in, if I do a refresh here, you should see we now have our YT View 3 Heroku app. All right, here on the documentation for deploying a Vue 3 app to Heroku, before we can begin our deployment, we need to add the static.json file to our Vue 3 project. So what this file is going to do is tell Heroku where to find our application. All right, so let's copy this JSON here, and then we're gonna go over to our project, and where we wanna create this JSON file is inside of the folder that contains our Vue 3 project. So in my case, it's gonna be this Vue 3 Heroku folder. So we'll create a new file, and we'll say static.json here, and then we'll copy and paste in this data from the documentation. Okay, back here on Heroku, let's open up our app, and once we do this, we should be taken to the dashboard here. And what we want to do is go to this deployment tab right here. So if we click on this, you can see if we scroll down, it lists all the instructions and steps that we need to take in order to deploy our application to Heroku. 
So the first thing that we'd want to do is log into Heroku using our login command, but we've already done this, so we don't need to worry about this. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we need to create a new Git repository here. So to do this within our terminal within VS Code, we want to run this command of git init here. And then once we have created our new Git repository, we want to add our remote here to that repository using this command below. So what I'll do is copy this and we'll head over to our view project and we will say git init here to initialize a new git repository all right and then what we're going to do is we'll copy and paste this command here to add our remote to this git repository now back here on the view 3 docs we need to add some build packs to our heroku app and for view specifically we need the build packs of heroku node.js and also heroku build pack static so what we can do is copy these commands right here and we can actually just copy them both and we can paste them into our terminal. Now, I do wanna mention you can also add these directly on the dashboard here if you go to settings and then you can add the build packs here by clicking this add build pack button. But we're gonna do this through the command line. So let's go back here to our terminal and paste these in here and we should see once this has been successfully added, you can see that both build packs were added to our project. And if we go back to our project specifically here and we do a refresh, we should now see these two build packs right here. All right, we're now ready to deploy our application to Heroku. So what we need to do is commit our code to our repository and then deploy it. So let's head over to our terminal here and we'll say git add and we'll do all. All right, and then what we wanna do here is we're going to say git commit, and then we want to use the message flag here by saying dash M, and then we'll do in quotes here saying Heroku first deploy, and that's going to commit everything to our repository. And then finally, we want to run the command of git push Heroku master, which just will deploy our application to Heroku. Okay, so some time has passed as it does take a few moments for it to deploy. Now if we head back over to our Heroku dashboard and we scroll up here and if we click on open app, we should now see we have our deployed Vue 3 application here on Heroku. All right, so let's take a look how we can deploy a Nuxt app to Heroku. And here inside of my browser, I've created a very simple Nuxt application, which currently is just a heading tag that we're going to be deploying to Heroku. All right, so let's head over to VS Code where I have the Nux project files. And the first thing we want to do is open up our terminal here and we want to log into Heroku using the CLI. So we'll say Heroku and we'll use login here. And what this should do is it's going to prompt us to press any key, which will open up the browser to log in here. So we can click on login and then it should validate us. So we can go ahead and close this tab out now. And if we head back over to our terminal, we should now see that we're logged in to our Heroku account. Now, next we're going to need to create a new app on our Heroku account. And we have two ways we can do this. Number one, we can use the Heroku CLI or we can go directly over to the Heroku directory of all of our apps. And here in the top right hand corner, we can click on new and we have the ability to create a new app. But in this video, I'm gonna to opt to use the Heroku CLI. So here inside of our terminal, we can say Heroku and we'll do create. And then we need to give our app a name. So in our case, I'm gonna call this YT. We'll do Nux JS, and then we'll say Heroku here. All right, and that's going to create that. And as you can see, it's done. And if I click on this link here, it should take us to the Heroku app, but currently we don't have anything deployed. So we're gonna get this application error. But if we go over to the directory and we do a refresh, we should now see that we have this newly created app here of YT Nuxjs Heroku. So here inside of our directory, let's open up our app and we wanna to navigate to this deployment tab here. And if we scroll down, we have this section which is called deploy using Heroku Git, which is going to list all the instructions and steps that we need to take in order to deploy our application to Heroku. So the first thing that we want to do is log into Heroku using the Heroku CLI by calling this command of Heroku login. But we've already done this, so we don't need to worry about re-logging in. 
All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we need to create a new Git repository and we're gonna do that by calling the command git init and then once we have initialized or created a new Git repository, we need to set the remote to our Heroku project here. So what I'll do is I'll copy this command right here and we'll go back over to our Heroku app or the project files. And we first want to say git init here. And then we can see that we initialize the empty Git repository. Now, once we have this, we want to then set the remote to our Nuxt application. So after we call this command right here, you can see that we've now set the Git remote to our Heroku project. Now here in the documentation for deploying a Nuxt app on Heroku, we need to do a few configurations to our Heroku app so that it'll work with our Nuxt application. And what we need to do is we have to set a build pack of Heroku Node.js and also this variable of host, which is gonna be set to 0.0.0.0. So what we'll do is copy these two commands and then we'll head over to our Nuxt application and inside of our terminal within VS Code, we'll paste these two commands in and we'll hit enter here and we should see that the build pack was set and then we also set this host variable here. So if we go over to our Heroku app and we go to the settings here, we should see that we now have this build pack of Heroku Node.js and if I do a reveal config vars here, we should see we have this host variable which is set to 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. So then the final thing that we need to do is deploy our application. So we're going to commit our code to the repository and then we're going to deploy it. So let's head over to our project here. And what we wanna do is a command of git add and we're gonna do all. Then we wanna say git commit and we're gonna do a message flag and we'll say this commit message is going to be our nuxt.js Heroku deploy like that and then that's going to commit all of our files to our repository here. And then we want to run the command of git push Heroku master, which is then going to deploy our application to Heroku. All right, so some time has passed as this does take a few minutes for it to deploy, but as you can see, this has been completed. So if we head over to our Heroku dashboard and we scroll up here, we should now be able to open up our app. And as you can see, we have our deployed application here on Heroku. Okay, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on it down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.